China's annual mid-year e-commerce festival, known as 618, was established by JD.com in 1998. The annual shopping event takes place on June 18th and is the second largest in China, after Singles Day in November. The 618 festival is a key indicator of household spending, but this year's event failed to stimulate shopping activities, which have been stagnant for a long time, according to Epoch Times. The total value of goods sold, or GMV, by companies during this year's festival decreased by 7% compared to last year. This is the first time in eight years that 618's GMV has fallen. The decline of 618 does not surprise observers, as many indicators show that the Chinese economy continues to be in crisis. Data released by China's National Bureau of Statistics, or NBS, a few days ago showed that monthly industrial production, or IP growth, slowed to 0.3% in May, from 1% in April. This weakness is attributed to the decrease in IP related to real estate, as cement production has dropped significantly this year, following three years of decline from 2021 to 2023. Meanwhile, automotive IP growth has also decreased to 7.6%, from 16.3% year-over-year. IP growth for rubber, plastics, and ferrous metal smelting and processing also slowed in May. The average price decreased by 0.7% in May compared to the previous month. China also witnessed the most significant decline in new home prices in nearly 10 years, despite government measures to stabilize the real estate market.